Hey guys, thank you for joining me in our next episode of Front Office Football 7 in Year 2. So we're going to be looking at Weeks 3 and 4. We lost our first two games. One of them was against Paint Manning, so it was it was quite ridiculous. So Telvin Coleman is a strained hamstring. That is a tricky injury. So we need to activate possibly another player. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six corners. Quadre Diggs and Melvin White. Quadre Diggs is going to be right there. So we're going to have um, Kareem Carey. Active. Whoops. So it's me, Eldon Forte. This is then going to be Carrie. I'm going to switch this up a little bit. Um, this one is going to be Deonson. I'm going to put Mario Cooper here in that slot and see what happens, essentially. I mean, he's a good player. We need to get him. I mean, that this is what he's projected to be as he develops. But this is what he is now. The route running for drops in the field. Actually, we should have Cooper here. And just, there's going to be some growing pains. There's going to be. That's just how, how it's going to be. There's going to be some growing pains. Uh, I think we're good everywhere else. Yeah. It's just this Tevin Col uh, Coleman injury. Should I really just... No, I'm, I'm going to play him. I have the ability to do this. We play Philadelphia. Beforehand, let's look at the, the rosters from now on. So, they were having Matt Barkley start. This still shows me. They were going to have Matt Barkley start. Uh, LaShawn McCoy is still there. Let's look at the an injury. Still going to be Cooper Riley, Jeremy Macklin. Uh, Josh Hoff is out there. Jordan Matthews, Leonard Hankerson. They picked up in the offseason. Uh, Lions still going to be. They picked up Mike Pouncey. They got Evan Mathis, Sharif Brandon. Who they picked up as a rookie, and he's starting. A good, uh, good one. I think that's their that's their first round pick. Uh, Jason Peters is out for the next two years, left tackle. So, Alan Barbary, uh, a experienced, a veteran, is going to be taking over that. They have Tyrus Thompson and Lane Johnson, a third year player, is going to be at the right tackle. Jones and Parkey both kicking it. Uh, Vinny Curry is going to be at an end. Fletcher Cox is actually playing behind Vinny Curry. That is odd. Uh, Taylor Hart, the two-year player, is going to be playing at right end. Uh, looks like uh, uh, Benu Allen is going to be the nose tackle. Uh, Benny Logan is going to be behind him. So at linebackers, your inside is going to be obviously uh, D'Amico Ryan's 10-year veteran. Good player. Uh, and then Michael Kendricks is going to be right behind him. Uh, Connor Barwin is questionable with a hyperextended knee. So he's going to be held out. And that's going to be Marcus Smith, a second-year player. He's going to be playing instead of, um, instead of him. 
We're going to have Brandon Graham at the will linebacker. Our corners, we're going to be dealing with, uh, obviously, Kerry Williams is going to be that primary. Jalen Watkins, a second-year player, is going to be on the other side. We're probably going to end up with uh, Nolan Carroll and uh, Martin Medley. So we could mess with those corners. They are playing Chris Conti, the former Bear, at strong safety. So he will be playing, that looks like, for them. They also picked up Deshaun Gibson, a four-year player. They picked him up from the Browns. And then Malcolm Jenkins is going to be that free safety position. So we could possibly victimize them deep. We will have to see what we can get going. But let's look at. Yeah, so they have probable D tackle, probable. Matt Barkley's doubtful. Chris Conti's probable, so he probably will play. Quan Barwin's questionable, and so is Jason Peters. Oh, I could have just looked at it like this, but it really doesn't help me on who's going to be starting at quarterback. So, they like to pass it short. Not a lot of deep passes. Where's that me? I want to say, this is them. This is me. Yeah. Obviously, I would be the defense. So, they're rushing. They rush to the left a lot. To my left is going to end up being towards uh, towards Ratliff, actually. Uh, defense to the left, we've been holding it strong. To the right, we've been holding it strong. Up the middle, because our linebackers, we, we've missed uh, Shea a lot this, this season. So that's why we're getting killed up the middle. Passing. Throw a lot of short passes. And they're not doing great on medium and long passes. We've given up a lot of short. We've given up a lot of the short pass to Peyton Manning. Long, we haven't given up much, which is actually nice. But we're going to have to see what we can do. Let's do this. Actually, let's look at what they say. Cutler's better. Matt Barkley, whoever they bring out. Sean McCoy is better than Forte. Receivers are equal. I don't know about that. They say their offensive line's better. I don't know about that. They have some injuries. Defensive line's better. Yeah. Scheme wise, linebackers, yes. Secondary, I'm still better because I got Revis. Special teams and coaching is the same. My corners are better than the receivers. Quarterbacks and Chicago receivers are about equal, so we can victimize this, possibly, depending on who gets what matchup. Their blockers against my front seven, but my blockers against their front seven. So, we need to victimize this team. They allow, uh, let's see, they are almost dead last at rushing yards allowed per game. So, we need to give them a healthy dose of Matt Forte. Let's see what our coach ends up deciding what he wants to do. So they get the ball first. Matt Barkley is starting, and he's going to get sacked immediately. And, which, and McCoy actually gets a good run, and then he picks up the first down. McCoy loses four. That's a pass to Barkley for four yards by Barkley, and there's McCoy for nine yards. Cooper, that's an incomplete pass. O'Neal only gets two yards. Riley Cooper, that's incomplete. Eco Ferguson, that's a minor injury, so he's going to be staying in the game. So Matt Forte for one yard, and he fumbles it. So that's knocked down by Tim Jennings. That's Cooper 15 yards and a touchdown. So off the missed key there, and that's a loss of four and a penalty. Cutler gets 10 yards. Bennett gets 11. So we get out of that hole. There's one to Alshon Jeffrey for 12 yards on Malcolm Jenkins. Mark Cooper for 26 yards. So there's Stevie Johnson for 11 yards. 
we can get this offense rolling. T.J. Eldon catches the ball for five yards. So there's Chris Williams. It's knocked out by Conti. There's Amari Cooper for tw- for 11 yards. It's first and three. We're now on the one. We're going to give it to Matt Forte. He's going to get that one yard. And it's a tie game. We march on the field quickly. And that's an intercepted pass by Fuller and a pick six. With our defense going to work. There's Amari Cooper for uh, giving up. Our defense giving up a 22 yard to him. Giving up 17 yards to Jeremy Macklin there. Sean McCoy loses seven. Sean McCoy, that was badly overthrown by Barkley. That's overthrown, so it's going to be a punt back to us. Kadeem Carey gets five yards. So second five. Forte for eight yards and a first down. There's Forte loses three, though. Some good linebacker play by the Eagles. There's Cutler evading for four yards. Stevie Johnson for seven. He's going to be... Short, but that's legal contact in the defense. So it's going to be a first down. There's three yards for the Bears. There's Forte for two yards. And he fumbles it. So there's two fumbles by Cutler. Or Forte, I mean. And there's a stop. And they actually missed the field goal. So it's going back to us. Jeffrey catches it for two yards there. Third and six. Cooper gets it for 11 yards. T.G. Eldon loses four on that rush. Uh, and then we see here Martellus Bennett for seven yards, third and seven. Cooper makes it for three yards. It's going to be short, but it will be punted back. There's McCoy for seven yards. And there's McCoy for three yards in the first down. There's Macklin for seven yards and a touchdown. We'll have to see if that's... And we score again off a return. A kick return. So LaShawn McCoy gets seven on that in a first down. The Eagles offense is back out there. But Ryan Mundy is hurt. We'll have to see what uh, is going on with him. Jerry Macklin, that's not even close to him. Let's put it back to us. So there's Forte, loses three. There's T.J. Eldon, gets nothing. Stevie Johnson gets one yard, and we have to punt it back. And here's LaShawn McCoy for three yards. And here's Riley Cooper for seven yards and a first down. So that is a sack. Well, it looks like uh, Houston. There's McCoy for eight yards, third and eight. And that is caught by <laughs> Cooper for 28 yards. And there's Antron Roll with the interception. So he loses three there. T.J. Eldon loses one. Matt Forte gets six, and we're going to kick back and let time run out as there's a loss of two yards, and there's McCoy with the fumble. But time's going to be ending. There's Forte for three yards. That's an incomplete pass. Martellus Bennett catches it for four yards, and it's going to be punted back to Philadelphia, who has a good return. So here's Matt Castle out there now. That play goes for three yards. Uh, that one's knocked down. And they're going to get a field goal. So it's 21-17 Chicago. There's Cutler scrambling for 11 yards. There's Forte for two yards. And he fumbles again. That's the third fumble by Forte. And there's Jonathan Bostic. He's hurting the play, so that's going to come in with, uh, with Timu now. Zach Ertz, that's incomplete. Going to pump back to us. There's Forte. Loses two yards. We're on the three. T.J. Eldon gets five yards off that screen pass, probably. And there's Alshon Jeffrey making a move for 22 yards off that pass. Stevie Johnson with another 23-yard gain. Jay Cutler giving to Yeldon for one yard. Martellus Bennett loses four. It's third and 15. Give it to Amari Cooper, but that goes nowhere. We will punt. They are on the four. Sproles gets nothing. Only gets one. There's McCoy, loses that one yard. Castle trying to get to Jordan Matthews, and he does for 16 yards. So there's McCoy for four yards. There's McCoy, stop for no gain. And there's Ertz that drops a pass, so it's going to be punted back to Chicago. So there's a deep pass to Alshon Jeffrey for 25 yards. T.J. Eldon is stopped for no gain. T.J. Eldon loses one there. Alshon uh, Jeffrey catches the ball for nine yards, and that's there's going to be a fumble though on that punt, but it's not going to be picked up. And O'Neal gets 30 yards on that run. 
That's Newman catching the ball for four yards from Castle. Macklin catches one for 10 yards. Uh, O'Neal only gets five, but it's a legal formation that's coming back. McCoy gets five. Second 10, that's incomplete, that pass. Uh, that one's good for nine yards, but it's going to be short. So they're going to go for it. They will get the first down, but there is a uh, injured pair for Philadelphia. Cooper gets three yards. Zach Hurts catches it for five yards. Third and two. Hankerson gets it for five yards. Uh, McCoy gets it for 14 yards there. Uh, McCoy gets three yards. Uh, that's two yards for O'Neal. So they are up by three. Amari Cooper catches the ball for 11 yards. And it's a fumble. We do get it back, though. There's Cutler for no gain. There's Matt Forte for one. There's Cutler to Bennett for two yards. And we have to pump back. So there's a good stop by Timu. No gain. There's another one, no gain. And there's Jeremy Macklin for 32 yards. Wow. We can't stop. It's offense. It's three yards stop. There's another stop for no gain. It's going to be a pass. And McCoy gets nothing. So here's our only chance to win, to win this game. That's incomplete to Bennett. Tevin Coleman gets nothing. Third and 14. Cutler runs for nine yards. Cutler gets it to Chris Williams for nine yards on the conversion. Corey Fleener, Kobe Fleener gets 19 yards on that. It's a minute left. That's knocked down, intended for Alshon Jeffrey. That one to Marquise Wilson gets nine yards. Third and one, 46 seconds left. That's incomplete. And you kicked a field goal from there. From That is a 60-yard field goal. Oh, my God. A 60-yard field goal. Of course Robbie Gold's not going to make that. Chris Williams, the kickoff return for a touchdown. First one we had in this. This. Inexcusable. This. 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 We kill ourselves when giving the ball away. Sean McCoy would hold him under 100 yards and 26 carries. We didn't do shit in the running game. Looks like we're going to change up our running backs. Matt Castle. Matt Castle. 195 yards. I mean, he, he's only thrown a Riley Cooper and Jeremy Macklin. Passing, Mari Cooper, Asha and Jeffrey. I mean, we had two interceptions. Forte, three fumbles. That is... was a 40-yarder he missed. Chiefs had a sack and a half. Fuller had a sack. They had no sacks. All right. We're, go we're going to switch this, sh this up like that now. Yeldon, King Carey is now the second back. You're down here. Wow, I don't believe that. So knee bruise, that's fine. Bostic is questionable. Foster is probable, so I can put him out there. Right down, that's fine. One, two, three, four. Um, then who to put? I'm gonna reserve then. Um, I think.
think I'm just going to put Melvin White. Actually, how I'm going to put this is Foster Timu. I'm going to deactivate Bostic. It's all going to be Mason Foster's game this, this time. If Mason Foster screws it up, well then Timu is going to be getting the uh, the nod. Clippers are actually. Do we have some injuries? It's a sprain thumb. Thumb. So. Fine. So we play San Francisco. Kaepernick, Marcus Lattimore, Bruce Miller, Vernon Davis, Darius Hayward Bay, and Mike Wallace. Joe Staley in the line, Anthony Davis, Chris Chester, Wyatt Perkins, Don Barkley. On defense, uh, uh, Tank Carradine, Brennan Dietrich, Tony Gerardetti. Uh, Ahmad Brooks, Navarro Bowman, Patrick Willis, the good middle linebacker tandem for Patrick Willis, uh, retired. Corey Lemonade, uh, Dante Johnson, second year player, actually drafted by the 49ers. Chris Culliver, Anton Bethea, and second year player, Jimmy Ward. So, we got a defense on our hands to do a lot of rushing. Let's see what we can do. Darren Kudelich is out. He's not out there. Joe Staley is probable. Alden Smith is out. So, that's why we're seeing Corey Limine, Chris uh, Borland. Probable he would he would be in between of our uh, behind of our Bowman and or Patrick Willis anyway. Martin is out. That's why we're gonna see Chris Chester and Ivan Buckley. Actually, that he... no, actually Chris Chester is there. Should be their starter actually. Ivan Buckley, who, um, depending, now, he's going to be a backup. So that, that's, that's some big hits for them. Borland's up there. I don't think he would definitely be better than, Pat, than either of those now. Not at all. Alden Smith, he would be better than... Corey Lemonade. Yeah. I mean, Ahmad Brooks would be out there. So, yeah. We have a crazy game ahead of us. Green Bay at 2 at 1 meets a 0 and 3 Arizona. Um, the 3 0 Detroit plays an 0 and 3 St. Louis. Oh, I can just look at it right here. And Minnesota has a bye week. By the looks of it, yes. So let's do this. Actually, let's look at 
this. So they heavily favor the 49ers by 12. Or by 8, I mean. Yeah. And naturally. This is one of the top defenses in the league. All right, let's see how we fare against this. We get the ball first. Matt Forte for one yard. Uh, Matt Forte gets four yards there. Alshon Jeffrey gets nine yards. Matt Forte loses one. Uh, that's Jeffrey for 11 yards. There's Martellus Bennett dropping the ball. Alshon Jeffrey, that's incomplete. Third and 10, Jeffrey catches the ball for 21 yards. It's down the middle of the field, too. There's Bennett trying to make up for that drop for three yards. Forte gets four yards in that rush. Forte gets nothing on that reception, so it's going to be kicked back. Actually, we'll kick a field goal. So Kaepernick's going to come out there, give the Lattimore for eight yards. There's Carlos Hyde for three yards. Uh, ball caught by Lattimore for two yards. And a f so second and eight. There's a five-yard gain there. Carlos Hyde loses four. Wow. So there's Cutler to Bennett for eight yards. Cutler give it to Coleman for one yard, or losing one yard. That's not going to get the first down. It's going to be short by three. It's going to be punted back. Marcus Lattimore gets a three-yard, or nine-yard game. Lattimore gets a four-yard gain there and a first down. Uh, Vance McDonald loses four. Uh, Vernon Davis loses one. Uh, Kaepernick scrambles for five. That's short for a first down. It's going to be a touchback on the punt. Kadeem Carey for one yard. Uh, Bennett catches for 12 yards. No first down. There's Forte plowing for six yards. Alshon Jeffrey for four yards. No first down. Uh, there's a huge run by, by Cutler for 12 yards on that blitz. There's Chris Williams in the game of 11. Kadeem Carey rushing for five. Uh, Forte is incomplete. Anthony Spencer is down for San Francisco. That uh, is a poorly thrown ball, but it's going to be a first down as a penalty. There's Forte losing one. That's incomplete. There's Alshon for Jeffrey. It's incomplete. And there's another field goal. So here's Colin Kaepernick. Give it to Marcus Lanamore for 25 yards. But it's holding, so that's coming back. So there's a pass to Darius Hayward Bay for seven yards. Jared Boykin. Gets nothing, but it's a flag in Chicago for holding, so it's a first down. Marcus Lattimore for three yards. Miller, uh, Bruce Miller for three yards. Hyde gets six yards and a first down. Uh, Lattimore makes that reception for seven yards. Darius Hayward Bay gets two yards. Marcus, Marcus Lattimore gets five yards. Uh, Marcus Lattimore loses four yards there. Good play by Fuller. That one's incomplete. Third and 14. Mike Wallace gets the reception for 23 yards. Darius Hayward Bay gets it 9. And it looks like Chris Chester, their backup center, is down. And then there's a sack on Colin Kaepernick by Peppers. There's a 6-yard gain by Wallace and a first down. There's Wallace, 16 yards, and a touchdown. So it's now 7-6. to six. Forte for no gain. Forte gets a 12-yard 12, uh, 12 gain there in the handoff. There's Mario Cooper catching the ball for 7 yards. Bennett catching the ball for 12 yards. We've hit the two-minute warning. There's a false start. Mark Cooper catching the ball for 15 yards on first down. Minute 30 left. Amari Cooper for nine yards. Matt Slauson's down. There's a sack by Anthony Spencer. Third and 13th. That's incomplete. And there's a punt. Wallace catches the ball for three yards, and that's going to go into the second half. Uh, San Francisco is going to get the ball first. It's going to be a three-yard and an encroachment. There's another three-yard game. Marcus Lamore gets another three yards there. There's Carlos Hyde only getting three yards and be punted back to Chicago. So Cutler giving to Matt Forte for two yards. Uh, Matt Forte for eight yards. Uh, Kadeem Carey, that's incomplete though. Martellus Bennett for 17 yards on a first down. There's Jay Cutler to TJ Eldon for seven yards. Second and three, Forte loses one, third and four. Kadeem Carey gets 27 yards on a first down. So we're in to San Francisco as that's a two-yard loss by Bennett. Forte gets nine yards there. Third and three, that's a sack on Cutler. 
and that's outside of field goal range. So that's a good stop by the Bears. There's a five-yard gain and stop. Mike Wallace, who's victimizing us for 22 yards. And there's a fullback breaking a play. There's a three-yard gain. There's Kaepernick running for seven yards. First and ten. Miller is stopped for no gain. And Bruce Miller is down. So Marcus Lattimore gains nothing there. Actually is hit back. And Kaepernick only scrambles for four. So it's a four-point game. Color to Tevin Coleman for one yard. Amari Cooper, that's overthrown. Uh, one to Stevie Johnson, that's overthrown. So we're going to kick back to San Francisco. Marcus Lamore goes seven yards there. Jared Brooklyn gets seven yards for a first down. Marcus Lamore gets seven yards there. Hyde loses one. Third and four. McDonald gets 18 yards. There's Harry Bray catches the pass for seven yards. Lattimore gets one for four yards in the first down. Lattimore loses one. Uh, Kaepernick rushes for three. Third and eight. Hyde gets stopped on the four. And they have to kick another field goal. So it's a seven-point game. Marquise Wilson for three yards. Color to Alshon Jeffrey. That's down. Jimmy Ward's hurt. He's going to have to come to come out. There's Amari Cooper for three yards. We have to kick back. Penalty on San Francisco. That's going back more. There's Marcus Lamore losing one. Marcus Lamore gets seven. We need to stop here. Carlos Hyde gets eight. By God. Lamore for six. Hyde loses one. Third and five. Carlos Hyde only gains one. So it's going back to us. Team carry for no gain. Second 10. Color to Jeffrey for 38 yards. We need that. It's three under three minutes. There's Jeffrey for nine yards. There's Cooper for nine yards. Chris Culver's hurt. So there's Jeffrey dropping the pass. Cutler sacked. My God. That was badly overthrown. Cutler sacked again. That's no gain. Carlos Hyde, so it's punted back to Chicago. We start our own three. That was knocked down by Antoine Bethea. Chris Williams, that's knocked down. Mari Cooper, that's knocked down. Stevie Johnson makes the play for 12 yards. That was... We need to see how long Slauson's out. That's absolutely pitiful. They held them under 100 yards, but just they we let them just get so many first downs off off running. Matt, Matt Forte only had 37 yards. We hardly gave it to him. Kaepernick only had one incompletion. To Marcus Lattimore. It's probably knocked down at the line. Alshon, 92 yards, of six catches. He had one drop. Martellus Bennett had one drop. I mean, we're just playing sloppy at this point. Peppers, one sack. Our only sack. Ahmad Brooks had one. Anthony Spencer had two. Earl Mitchell and Corey Lemonet had one together. That is the only thing we got. We only got one sack on him. We got no hurries, no knocks, nothing. No passive defense, no interceptions. I mean, they ran the ball a lot. Ryan Beluga. Michael gave up one. So I think we're going to make, make it a change at right tackle after we look at the statistics right now this far in the game or this far in the season. Directional passing, medium, which means linebackers. Two 
two drops by Alshon Jeffrey. Wow. We cannot have that. All right, Shea is playing. He's probable. We're not playing this this BS anymore. Slauson's out. Fisher, you're moving the outside. Oh, hell yeah. You're coming in. You're going to be deactivated. Shay, you're playing. Foster, you're coming out. Bostic, you're playing. Don't care. Team will play behind you, if that's a fact. Or Jones will play behind you. One of the two. Ryan Mundy. We're going to keep Antoine roll out. And I'm going to play put in that free safety spot. So Diggs is going to come in. So let's organize this. This is good. I know. That's what I'm coming in here for. Fisher's here. Beluga, you've been demoted. This is long. It's going to be Fabeluge. Yeah, it's going to be Fabeluge. Beluga is going to be on the inside because I can cover that. Long over here. Yeah, I should put long right, right here. So this will be long. This will be for Beluga. This will be Beluga. Fabeluge will be here. Fabeluge will be here. This will be here. All right, punt returners. Williams is putting it on, so that's how we're going to play that. Basic defense. McClellan. And Bostic. Timu and Jones. Actually, this should be Jones. This should be Timu. This is going to be Prut. And I'm going to go like that. I have corners on my roster. So my basic defense here is going to be McClellan. Bostic, Houston, Peppers, Strong Safety, oh, I might put Fuller back here, and I put Jennings, I did this last year. Nickel, McClellan. Jones, Bostic, Revis, Fuller, actually, now that I think about this, I want Fuller on their number one, on their uh, number ones.
So I want this to be Fuller and this to be Revis. Now that I think about it. Yeah, Fuller is doing strong safety. I want this to be Fuller, this to be Revis. Nickel, Dime, Colin, Bostic, Fuller, Brevis, Jennings, definitely McManus. Monday and Pratt. Um, I need to activate. So Diggs is going to be deactivated. I need another lineman. It's making me. Jabalouche is not. I want this to be Ola if it has to be. All right, guys, thank you for joining me. We're going to have Pruitt starting at that spot. And we're going to see what we can do against Arizona. Because, I mean, looking at our summary, Forte's got uh, 54 carries for 102, or 202 yards, two touchdowns, three fumbles. We have some other fumbles in there. Um, Jeffrey got 22 catches, 309 yards. Mark Cooper's got 19 for 190. Vance got 15 for 122. Stevie Johnson got 11 for 150. Forte's got 11 for 56. Uh, defensively, uh, Jones, 27 tackles. Bosk's 26. Got uh, some defense. Hurries, Pepper's got some, Fuller's got some, production percentage. Um, some good tackles. Sacks, Joyce Pepper's got two and a half, Fuller's got a half, Mark Houston's got two, McPhee's got one. So wait, who's on the other side? Houston's got one. Peppers. Who's not getting any pass rush? Eagle Ferguson. He's got some hurries, though. Kilgo. He's not getting anything. Sutton. Oh, he's doing good. Coy Crawford's got a half a sack. I mean, we're not going to do much of anything if we keep on playing like this. Yeah, opposition is five touchdowns to four interceptions for 95.6. We're not getting Cutler in the right spots that he needs to be by any means. Third down conversions were only 35.2%. 18th in the league. Pass rush percentage, 16.5. We're almost, we're tied 30th, almost last. We have five turnovers. But our turnover margin isn't great. So yeah, thank you for joining me. We are going to explore what happens when we play Arizona followed by St. Louis. So 
what we'll be playing is a own four Arizona and a one and three St. Louis. These are teams that we should be able to beat. We are own four. Everyone in the division. Minnesota had a bye week. They're three and three and zero. Oh. Detroit and Green Bay are both three and one. So these are, this is the way we can at least get some foothold back. Or we may even be looking at the number one pick at this point. Actually, Arizona, San Diego, who we play, these two teams, in Houston, we are... The number one, we could potentially be the number one pick going into next year. So thank you all for joining me. It's been uh, it's been a pain, but we'll fight through it. Later, guys.